Hi, it's TOT Carlson, back with another video for you. Today we're continuing our journey through the world of classic cinema, and we're going to be taking a look at this, the Columbia Classics Collection. I just picked this up a few weeks ago, and this is a 4K release of six films from the Columbia Vaults, which are making their 4K debuts here. This folds open, and it's got a nice little backdrop in the middle of the Columbia Torch Lady logo that they've always had. And then these panels on the side here have the six films. We're going to do an unboxing of each of these and take a look at what's inside. So on this side here you have Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Lawrence of Arabia, and Dr. Strangelove. On this side you have Jerry Maguire, A League of Their Own, and Gandhi. And then right here you got some close-ups of stills from each of the films that's contained herein. And why don't we open up these packages and see what we got in here. In the center behind the uh, Torch Lady backdrop that I was showing you earlier, there's a hardbound book, which is something I think the collectors are going to absolutely love. Right here in the front cover you got quotes from the films contained herein and I'm just gonna show a few sample pages here I'm not gonna go through every single page of this because that could be a review unto itself here's some Mr. Smith goes to Washington production photographs here's some stuff on Lawrence of Arabia and then here's some stuff from the uh, Restoration and production of Gandhi. Mm -hmm. And this actually just slides back into the top of the package. It's a little hard to get in and out, but it's a great booklet and a nice addition to this collection. So I'm just pulling the discs out here. We'll take a look at each set. There are 4K discs, and each one also includes Blu-ray copies. In a lot of cases, the bulk of the bonus features are found on the Blu-ray. So we'll just take a look at these in chronological order, starting with uh, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Here's the front of the slipcover. Here's the back. Underneath the slipcover. And then inside we've got both our 4K copy as well as our Blu-ray. The special features for this one are all on the Blu-ray. And then moving on down, next on the list we got Lawrence of Arabia. Got, a, got the little Academy Award statue. This was a Best Picture winner as well as winner of plenty of other awards, not surprisingly. Quotes on the back. Pop off the slipcover. Got some retro style art underneath the slipcover, which I definitely appreciate. There's a look at the back cover, a list of the bonus features. The 4K disc does feature a prologue that was unused but intended for international audiences who weren't familiar with the story, and that's exclusive to the 4K. Here's the Blu-ray and the 4K disc. And moving on down the list now, we get to take a look at uh, Dr. Strangelove. One of the finest films from the Stanley Kubrick catalog, featuring Peter Sellers at his comedic best. There's the poster-style art under the slipcover. Back cover, got a list of the bonus features. And this has a nice mix of bonus features from both the earlier Sony Columbia Blu-ray release, as well as the Criterion Collection Blu-ray. Seems like most of the Criterion Collection features ended up on the 4K disc, whereas the older features are on the Blu-ray disc. I, I can't say for sure if this is an exact repackaging of the earlier Blu-ray from Sony Columbia, because unfortunately I don't own it anymore. But anyway, now we're going to go over to the other side of the packaging, and right here we've got uh, Gandhi, starring the, the great Ben Kingsley. I actually just saw this for the first time when I bought this collection and absolutely loved this film. And this, of course, also was a Best Picture winner. There's the uh, art underneath the sleeve. Listen of the features and everything. There's an interesting piece of trivia for people who might not have known. This movie was actually directed by 
Richard Attenborough. He's the guy who played the professor who starts the park in the Jurassic Park movies. And then he was also a star in The Great Escape as well. Here's the discs here. Lawrence of Arabia and Gandhi are both split across two 4K discs. And then they have the film itself on a single Blu-ray and then special features on another Blu-ray. I kind of like that they did that so that they didn't cram everything just into one disc and potentially risk compression issues. Next up we've got uh, A League of Their Own. This is another movie in the set that I hadn't seen for the first time until I got the set. Being a film critic of sorts, I'm kind of ashamed to admit that because this is actually a pretty enjoyable movie. And then underneath you got this artwork with the uh, like mock playing cards. I actually quite like the way that looks. And then those are the features on the back. The special features are on the Blu-ray. They've even got some episodes from the short-lived television series of the same name as a bonus, so I think that's a nice touch. And the sixth and final film in the collection is Jerry Maguire, starring the always entertaining Tom Cruise. There's the back of the slipcover. Let's go ahead and take this off. And artwork underneath the slipcover. And there's a list of the features on the back. The bulk of the special features are on the Blu-ray, but there is a new feature exclusive to the 4K disc with director Cameron Crowe being interviewed by Alec Baldwin. And that was actually a pretty interesting listen and something the fans should definitely check out. And then one other thing in here as well, if I can find it. There's also a DVD disc here which has a few additional bonus features in addition to what you find on the discs. Now, I'm not going to go through and do reviews for each and every film in here because I think these movies have been reviewed enough over the years. And, I mean, I don't know how many times Lawrence of Arabia has been reviewed, but everything in here, I think, is a very good film. I've seen a lot of people bashing Columbia's decision to package these unrelated, irrelevant films together. But personally, I like that. I like the fact that they're giving us an eclectic mixture of movies that really shows us just how diverse the Columbia filmography is. How do the movies look in 4K? Picture quality wise, this collection does not disappoint. I can't say for sure like if all of these are new masters or if they're based on the earlier masters. I know for a fact when they went back and restored Lawrence of Arabia several years ago, they remastered it at a very high resolution. And this is sourced from the same master that the Blu-ray was sourced for. But again, all these movies get the 4K treatment and the HDR. And they all look phenomenal. I mean, you're going to see the occasional soft shot here. But that's just one of the issues inherent to the original elements in question here. And I really don't think we're ever going to see these movies looking any better than they do here. And honestly, I'm fine with that. Have you had a chance to pick up the Columbia Classics Volume 1 collection yet? Are you looking forward to Volume 2 if and when that gets released? Let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of this set if you've had a chance to pick it up. Also, like this video if you found it helpful, and remember to subscribe to my channel. I'm Taylor T. Carlson, and I will be seeing you in my next video.